All right, my friend Ashton's here from North Carolina. Hey! <laughs> With his, wife, his wife, Tori, she grew up here. She's been in a couple of my videos. And then Danny and Zeke, we're going into a Goodwill, see what we can find. Ashton's never been thrifting before. First time, so, and we're learning from the pro. Let's see Just what we can it. find. All right, so check this out. We got a pair of Nike Torch 4s behind the glass case, but check out this price. $79.99 in a Goodwill, guys. $80 for a pair of shoes at Goodwill. Absolutely insane. Unbelievable. We got a couple other pairs of torches right here. What size are these ones? $79.99 as well. That is absolutely crazy. It's cool. Yeah. All right, so I just kind of look for shoes that catch my eye at first if I don't know the brand. Let's see, look at this. <laughs> this is insane, $80. So this Goodwill specifically is like, they've gone pretty crazy with their, their prices. So we got a pair of Hoka's here. Let's see how much they're asking. $12.99. That's actually pretty good, but they're actually trashed on the bottom. So cannot sell these, which sucks. But is this or uh, Lucio Ricci? Never heard of it. They look nice, but I'd have to look them up. Nike Accelerate 3s. $14.99, completely ripped on the bottom. All right, so I'm just kind of showing Ashton a little bit of what we're doing, and he's actually looking stuff up on eBay by himself. I'm quite impressed, but there is a pair of Nike free TR fly knits right here. Women's eight and a half, good size, $8.99. It is missing one of the laces though, but I have replacement laces, so I think I'm gonna pick these up for nine bucks. These should be pretty good. I'll post up a little comp on the screen right here for you guys, but the flying net stuff always sells well for me. So, uh, well, actually, looks like there's some damage right there. Does that rip all the way through? Uh, no, that's just where the lace is. So we should be good. Are you finding anything? We found a brand basket. You found a basket? Okay. Nothing yet? I found a pair of flying net shoes. That's about it. Okay. Well, we're going to go to the men's shirts, see if we can find anything. You would think that with all this stuff, my Goodwill wouldn't be charging such stupid prices for t-shirts, clothing. There's so much stuff here, and the reason it's not selling is because they're, this stuff used to be $1.99, $4.99, now it's all $8.99, $9.99. First find here, I guess, is a little Speedo brand. This is kind of like a, a windbreaker jacket, I guess, and uh, it's a little bit longer in length. But it looks like it's got a packable hood in it, which is cool. Ten bucks. We'll have to look it up and see if it's worth picking up. Got the little logo right there. So not too bad. Found a little pair of John Deere boots for $3.99. And I have sold basically this exact same pair of boots for like $35 on Poshmark. So I'm definitely going to pick these up. It's a good piece. And then found this Nike crew neck right here. Well, Zeke just stole the John Deere boots, so... I guess there is now, right? You like them? So that last Goodwill wasn't very good. I ended up leaving the Speedo jacket because the comps were not great. I uh, just picked up the Nike sweater and those John Deere boots. We are at a second thrift store, see what we can find. That hurts. Wow, Danny found a Star Wars lightsaber. Dollar. Is it a Disney one or anything? Dollar twenty nine. It's not not Disney or anything, but Zeke will like it. Told you. <laughs> found some clogs. Good brand, nineteen ninety nine. A little too much though. I don't pick up a lot of electronics anymore, but I found this Sony. STR DA 5300ES and they want 30 bucks for it and I'll pop up some comps on the screen looks like it should sell for somewhere between 150 and 200 dollars and it powers on so I am going to take a chance on this all right, guys, this next part is really cool. Uh, Ashton was actually saying that he thought that art might be something good to look at at thrift stores, and it's not something I ever look at. And the first piece he looks at is a numbered 535 out of 975 Barbara A. Wood painting. And this painting's called Best Friends, and you guys won't believe what they are being listed and sold for. Check it out. 
All right, Ashton, so you found this yes. painting. Yes. The painting is $24.99, and there's three listed on eBay, but zero solds. The lowest one is listed for $423. So I'm going to make a deal with you. Mm. It says, you live in North Carolina. I'm going to buy the painting, and if I sell it, I'll split the money in half with you for finding it. That's a deal. How's that sound? That's a deal. All right. I'll oh, take it. Deal. All right. right let's do Done. it. All right. So I'm going to pick up the painting. I have no <laughs> idea what I'm doing because I don't sell art. But Ashton found this, and it is pretty cool. 575 out of 975 and it's got the signature on it matching so signature. matching like signature picked up the official sellers and the yeah. signature is an exact match this painting is called best friends which is what me and ashton are right now done <laughs> so we have gotten there we so all right there. let's get it let's... okay we just went to our last thrift store and this shirt this vintage shirt is hilarious look at this tori this vintage crawfish shirt <laughs> I might have to get this for Mikey. It's her brother, Mike. He loves he loves seafood boils. So, oh yeah, size small. <laughs> Just found a nice Bolo brand here at this church thrift store. Blue tags are three dollars. So Ashton, check this out, buddy. This brand right here is called Loudmouth. Very very good very good brand to sell. These shorts will probably sell for anywhere from like forty to sixty dollars. So maybe maybe more. Yeah, maybe even more. That's awesome. So this is a uh, Easy Writer D dual layer DVD burner. I only want five bucks for it. It's brand new sealed. And uh, this exact model, there's there's not any online that I can find on eBay, but there are some that have sold for around like forty five dollars. So oh, nice. I'll probably since it's brand new sealed, I'll probably pick it up and take a chance on it. Yeah. Because I could you know turn five into. Even twenty five yeah. on something like this would be good. Somebody wants that too. There's a lot of people who still need to print off DVDs and yeah. make copies and stuff. So there's yeah. the market for it for sure. So as you guys saw in that last clip, my friend Todd was actually in the thrift store uh, when I was with uh, Tori and Ashton, and he had something for me that he doesn't want to ship, and he offered to sell it to me. And it is this awesome Sony vintage. I think it's a KV forty one hundred, like TV and tape recorder. And so, and he has a PlayStation 1 as well that he asked me if I wanted to buy. So I'm going to buy these from him. And this unit is selling for over $100 uh, or around $100 plus shipping. And he told me I could have it for, what'd you say, 25 bucks? So very fair deal. So yeah, really cool piece. I've never seen anything like this. I'm excited to get this one home. All right, I was getting ready to leave, but I decided to come back because they had this 75% off rack outside. We got an L.L. Bean made in Egypt or Egyptian cotton I don't know something like that made in Malaysia and we got this awesome Wilson windbreaker right here on this rack all right guys just got back to the house I'm done thrifting for the day I think I picked up a couple things that you might not have seen so I'm going to show you everything plus I went to the bins this morning to meet up with somebody who was a no-show for something that we have to trade out on and uh, so I walked in and found a couple things I'm going to show you guys those as well we're gonna start with the painting, of course, the Barbara A. Wood painting. Paid $25, I'm gonna list it for probably somewhere between 400 to 500 and see what happens. There's three listed and none sold currently on eBay, but I'm gonna try Mercari and Facebook Marketplace as well. And you never know, Ashton found it, so I agreed to split the profits with him because he lives in North Carolina. Uh, so, but, all right, let's get into this haul real quick. Starting off with my stack from the bins, I found this like, uh, kind of like that Trip NYC brand. It's called Royal Bones, like this girl's corset top type of thing with the zipper in the back. These things sell really well actually, and especially on Depop. So I decided to pick it up. This is all bins pricing at $1.49 a pound. So pretty cheap here. I got an essential Nike crew uh, hoodie piece. All this stuff will get washed because you can see there's like dog hair on this or whatever. But this is a newer piece on the Nike black tag. So it's not vintage, but still probably like a 20 to $25 piece. Easy money right there. We got this uh, I'm all jacked up shirt right here. This is a Halloween Horror Nights shirt. I believe it's the 25th year anniversary. So nothing crazy like as far as being new, but people who like the horror stuff, this is still probably like a 15 to $20 tee in my opinion. This was a really cool find. This is called RJS Racing Equipment. I will pop up a comp on the screen, but there are some listed uh, in the like $100 range for this jacket. And as you can see, there's like some patches and stuff on it. I'm not really sure what is 
so special about this, but when I typed it in, when I found it at the bins, that's what came up was around $100 prices. So pretty cool there. This was another really neat find right here. This Looney Tunes tank top right here, I believe this is vintage, but I'm honestly not 100% sure, uh, but it looks older to me. And uh, just a really cool little Looney Tunes piece, someone who likes this kind of stuff. It's not Space Jam, but it does say Tunes on the back. Pretty cool little piece there. This is just a basic little uh, Poshmark or Depop piece. This is on a Bella canvas tag, so nothing crazy here, but it says Rasta and it's got the skull on it, but right here it's licensed to Liquid Blue 2011. So I thought that was cool. And uh, I figured like some type of girl that likes this kind of stuff might pick it up for like 10 bucks, basically weighs nothing. I don't have to open this up. I just got a really nice Disney store Mickey golf polo, I guess you could call it. Uh, size large, really good condition. It's like that, that cotton type of uh, material. This was a really cool piece. I got this North American Top Gun crew neck sweatshirt on the Hanes Activewear size XXL. Really good size for a vintage crew neck. And you can see this really cool World War II Air Combat Fighter Pilot School, North American Top Gun. So I guess this is obviously a pilot school, but someone who's either been there, attended there, or likes you know, pilot stuff at all, this would be a cool piece for them. My pastor actually really is into... Um, you know, flying and, and all that kind of stuff. So maybe he would be interested in it. I don't know, but a really cool piece. I got this pair of Lee jeans right here. Nothing crazy. Uh, I don't think these are vintage, but they just say Lee regular fit. But when I can find clean jeans in nice colorways like this, I usually like to pick them up and I usually fold it just like that for my main picture. So a great pickup there. This was a really interesting pickup to me. I thought this was the brand Cool at first, but it's actually Wrangler Outdoor. But what I liked about these was that it's like that almost Carhartt double knee style pants right here. And uh, they're overall clean. There's one little mark right here, but I think that'll wash out. And uh, really, really nice condition pants. These should sell pretty quickly. Um, that double knee workwear stuff does really good. I found a vintage Polo Ralph Lauren. There's one stain on it, but I believe that will come out. But just a really nice 100% cotton, like knitted sweater. This should do pretty well. I usually sell these around like $25 to $39.99. Second to last piece from the bins. The tag was cut out, but I believe it was the vintage Fruit of the Loom. You got the old school 80s NYPD sweater right here. New York's finest. Nothing on the back. Pretty small size, maybe a medium, but... NYPD says New York police, city of New York police on it. Really cool graphic. I decided to pick that up. But then my best find of the day and at the bins was this vintage Dale of Norway pure wool uh, sweater. If you did not know, Dale of Norway is a major bolo. Some of these can sell in the hundreds of dollars. And uh, this was just sitting there for me to take at the bins. It was like some... Uh, uh, they had just done a drop and a bunch of people, this wasn't even the bin that I started at, and a bunch of people walked right past it and I picked it up. And luckily for me, it was Dale of Norway. Beautiful piece, really good condition. I'm hoping to get somewhere probably around 200 bucks for this. Just to recap back here, I did get this Sony TV from my friend Todd that I ran into at the thrift store. Really cool piece, should get about 100 for that. And then I got all of this clothing right here. Uh, not a crazy haul, but just some good solid pieces. I also found these Asics wrestling shoes at the bins. They were in really good condition. I don't think that they sell for much. I think it's like $29.99, somewhere around there, but the blue colorway and they were clean and they were super cheap. Split second model should be pretty easy to sell. You guys saw in my last thrifting clip, uh, I picked up the vintage blank. I'm holding on to these. I have a whole bin of these that I'm saving up. Uh, people buy vintage blanks in bulk. And uh, so I've been picking them up, especially when they're USA made and good sizes. The uh, Wilson windbreaker is beautiful. And then the LL Bean shirt, these were 75% off. So this was like a dollar, this was a dollar, and this was a dollar or something like that. So really nice. I got the loudmouth shorts. I'm thinking I can probably get somewhere between 35 and 40 bucks for these. Not as high as the $60 ones. Uh, the patch ones don't seem to have as many comps. So I'm going to price a little lower. And then this vintage crawfish shirt. I just thought this was really cool. Maybe someone who likes crawfish or seafood boils or something will pick it up on my eBay store. It was dated like 1985. So super old on the screen stars, best tag made in the USA, single stitch all the way around. Just a really fun shirt. So I had to pick that up. 
And last but not least was this Nike crew neck from that first store we went to. It's the gray tag, so it's like mid-2000s, early 2000s, I believe. This I should probably get somewhere around $25 to $35 for. It's really nice. It's kind of like that dry fit material, almost like golf. I did pay $7.99 for this one, but I think that it will sell quick because it's Nike. And I also did get the Easy Rider dual uh, DVD burner. I'm going to list this for probably like $40 plus shipping and see what happens. But there you go, guys. There is the haul. There's everything we got. I'm really excited about this painting to see what happens. Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comment section if you pick up paintings or anything along that line. All right, guys, as you can see, I decided to steal Looney Tunes tank top for myself. Zeke is here with me, uh, and I forgot to film an outro, so I just wanted to say thank you for watching. Make sure to comment down below and subscribe to the YouTube channel, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Say peace money. Peace money.